Welcome back and I am back to talk a little more about my Ayurvedic morning routine. In this video I will be talking about oil pulling. Oil pulling is essentially Ayurvedic mouthwash. It is the practice of swishing oil around in the mouth for a few minutes to remove toxins. It helps to sweep away all the harmful bacteria, the microbes from the oral cavity by dissolving them into that oil. It also helps to remove plaque, that coating that forms on our teeth, and that can be a breeding ground for those germs. So all of this helps to prevent cavities, tooth decay, bad breath, and it also helps to maintain healthy gums. Coconut oil, sesame oil, and olive oil are the most popular oils that are used in oil pulling. I personally have never tried uh, sesame oil and olive oil. I've always used coconut oil. If you have watched my previous videos about the five elements, maybe you're able to gauge a little better what kind of elements are more dominant within you, within your body, and then you'll be able to choose the oil. For example, coconut oil has cooling properties, while sesame oil has warming qualities. So if you feel that the fire element is pretty dominant within your body um, and you have more warm qualities, you might want to use coconut oil. On the contrary, if you think that, for example, the air element is pretty dominant and you have that cold um, quality dominating, then you might want to use sesame oil. Or you can even play around with it. Maybe use coconut oil during uh, the summer and then sesame oil during the winter. I currently live in a country that's very warm most of the year, um, so I'm using coconut oil. And I will be moving to a country that's very cold most of the year, so I will definitely be trying out um, sesame oil. I will let you know how it is once I try it out. Now, like I said, I use coconut oil, but I use organic extra virgin coconut oil. Extra virgin because that just makes the taste really mild. And since I'll be swishing it around in my mouth for a few minutes, I would prefer that and organic because, well, I'm using this for detoxifying purposes. So obviously um, I don't want anything uh, like chemicals or additives in the oil. I use a plastic or a wooden spoon for this because again, I don't want uh, any metal reaction with the oil. And I always have a big jar of uh, coconut oil at home. I've just transferred it to this uh, little jar. And again, I've used a glass jar so that there is no chemical reaction with the jar. One tablespoon is enough. Or if you have a smaller spoon like this one, maybe one and a half. Just bear in mind that when you're swishing oil in the mouth, it gets mixed up with saliva. So we end up with a lot of liquid in the mouth. Uh, just keep that in mind. How long uh, do I oil pull? I honestly started off with just three minutes and I used to get tired because it's not something that we're used to doing. Uh, but 15 to 20 minutes is what is recommended uh, and what is considered to be a good practice. I now have reached with practice um, to 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes, um, and it gets easier with time. And also know that you don't have to stand still while you're oil pulling. You can walk around, you can do whatever you have to do. Uh, you can pack your bag for work, you can iron your clothes, you can put the kettle on for your tea, prepare your breakfast, and whatever you need to do. And then I spit it out in paper towels instead of in the sink because it can clog um, the drains. So I spit it out in paper towels and then throw that out in the trash. Okay, um, so that's it. I use coconut oil about 10 to 15 minutes. I use a plastic or a wooden spoon um, and that's about it. Now, I like to follow this with um, salt water rinse. That just gives an extra fresh, extra uh, clean feeling in the mouth. Now salt has antimicrobial uh, cleansing qualities, but also healing properties. So if we have any little cuts in the mouth, um, in the skin of, our, of the insides of our cheeks, in the gums, it just helps to heal that and prevent uh, further infections. Um, and it just creates that environment in your oral uh, cavity where bacteria cannot thrive. And where bacteria thrive, 
sickness thrives as well. So um, that's really, really helpful to keep uh, your teeth really healthy, your gums really healthy. And this is something that you can do not only in the morning, anytime during the day, because it's a great natural alternative to the commercial alcohol-based mouthwash. Uh, especially if you are sensitive, you might feel a bit of irritation when you use those alcohol-based mouthwash um, because it irritates the mucous membrane in your mouth. Salt does not irritate anything in the mouth, so it's a great uh, alternative. Here I have about half a teaspoon of rock salt, but you can use uh, just regular salt or Himalayan pink salt, just half a teaspoon to one teaspoon in one cup of warm water. Uh, is what I use and I do it about twice thrice a day especially before going to sleep if I don't do it in the morning I do it before going to sleep for sure uh, so that's it about the second Ayurvedic morning routine oil pulling and salt rinsing I hope that this was useful and interesting Please do like this video and share it with your friends, share it with your family, because this is a great way to look after yourself. Um, and if you want to implement this, of course you can. Please let me know what you think in the comments below and please subscribe to my channel because I will be posting more videos about the last two practices that I do uh, in the morning, the Ayurvedic uh, rituals that I follow. Again, this, these videos are just for me to share information, but if you have any medical concerns or questions or doubts, please, please, please visit and consult your own doctor before starting any new practice. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.